Hello and welcome to another video of Wolves Lab. This time we're going to talk about every single abilities of, I mean not every single, abilities of the Iron Man suits. Now the Mark 1 just simply gives Tony uh, in, the will enhanced durability, strength, and just has a few flame throws and can do limited flight. Mark 2 is basically the same except for the fact that you have repulsors and it can freeze in high attitudes but it has a new HUD HUD run by Jarvis and Mark 3 uh, is just the ninth most powerful suit ever created by Tony and has extreme def defensive and offensive capabilities can withstand extreme cold and heat can fly to extremely high altitudes but it yeah it takes time to wear it Mark 4 fixes the problem, and other than that, it's just basically the same as Mark 3, so, like, yeah. And, Mark four, 5 is the 10th most powerful suit Tony has ever created. It has only the basic weaponry, but also is one of the easiest to get on so so that's a big advantage although yes it's not very powerful in power sixth spot is the I mean, the mark six is just simply um a weaker version of mark uh Four, so like really that stuff. Mark seven is just an upgraded version of Mark four. I mean, just another weaker version of Mark seven, but less weaker than Mark six. Well, more powerful than Mark six. So yeah, and Mark eight we don't know much about them, so. We'll just pass them and go to Mark 42. Mark 42 is an unaccomplished suit, which is extremely powerful. Well, not really powerful, but can be used for combat. However, because it's just only a prototype, it, it only has the basic weaponry. However, just like Mark 5, you can wear it extremely quickly. And you don't need a case, which is an advantage. Mark 43 is basically the same, except that it own, it doesn't have... Uh, it isn't a prototype. It's really just a comp, the finished version of Mark 42. So it's really the same, except that you have more weaponry. So that's that and better fight like every time you you know it you can't you can't fly basically every time you wear it on and yeah and mark 44 hope buster the first hope buster the first is just a god uh, and is the fourth most powerful iron man suit and is you know very very powerful oh uh, yeah i don't really do i really need to say how powerful this thing is yeah no way and mark 45 mark 45 is just an, another upgraded version of this time it's an, a very big 
very much upgraded version of Mark 43. And Mark 46 is basically the same thing. And Mark 47. Hulkbuster the second. Hulkbuster the second is a bit more powerful than the normal Hulkbuster. And reason is because it's more powerful than Coal Obsidian, and Coal Obsidian is more powerful than Coal. So, do you get my logic? I hope you do. And Mark 60. Mark 60 is the second last suit that Tony, uh, not created, but Tony used. Now, this suit is quite powerful. I mean, the second most powerful suit ever yet made. And, uh, did you see that guy delivering extreme amounts of power on it? On, you know who that is? I mean, sure, it, he didn't really get hurt that way. Who could hurt him other than Scarlet Witch? And, uh, you know, like, there aren't much. And, plus, it can develop basically all kinds. Every single type of weapon that you, your family, or whatever has ever imagined. So that's an added bonus. Mark 85, just basically the same, except that you can also create an energy shield. It's really the only thing different about it, so yeah. Except for the design. Even the design didn't change much. Anyway, that's it for this video. Enjoy it. Like it. Subscribe. If I missed one, I'll show. Tell me in the comments, and I'll make an updated video video where I tell you the suits I missed. And just so you know, don't help me rescue the suit that Pepper used. So, anyways, that's it for this video. Like. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe, and bye!